Tomorrow, Dr. Ben Carson will talk about what is next for him at the Conservative Political Action Conference, CPAC, in suburban Washington. Today, the annual event began with concern over a Republican Party at war with itself. Correspondent Rich Edson reports from National Harbor, Maryland. The Conservative Political Action Conference, the preeminent annual forum for conservatives, overshadowed in Republican politics today by outside events. The 2012 nominees fight with the 2016 frontrunner. CPAC waits until Saturday to hear from him, though Donald Trump is present in today's discussions. And it's a little bit of a concern because I feel like we're fighting amongst ourselves and we're kind of giving a gift to the Democrats by doing that. It's a very bad thing if he were to be our, our nominee for the GOP or to, or to run independent. Concerned Republicans worry a Trump nomination will harm GOP candidates running for congressional, state, and local offices. Former Republican presidential contender and Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker is urging conservatives to vote in all elections, regardless of who wins the Republican presidential nomination. No matter what you think about what's happening in the presidential election, you can't give up. We need your help in the states. We're depending on you at the state and at the local level. Nebraska Republican Senator Ben Sass says he will not support Trump, even if he wins his party's nomination. And he only mentioned Trump by slogan. What we need most of all is not just someone who wants to breathe fire on Washington, but wants to breathe passion into our children for a constitutional recovery, because that's how we will actually make America great again. The American Conservative Union runs CPAC. Its chairman says conservatives must support the Republican nominee. We're going to have a nominee, and they're going to have a question to ask themselves. Do you support that nominee, or do you turn the Obama radical policies over to Hillary Clinton for eight more years. It's really just that simple. Some of these conservatives are skeptical of Trump as he continues to collect Republican delegates and lead in the GOP polls. And I think a lot of people out there that are so upset they're grasping on to the man on the white horse. We've been grasping the man on the white horse since George Washington. The best way to gauge conservatives' reactions to Donald Trump is to hear their reaction to Donald Trump speaking. He'll do so here on Saturday, as will Senator Marco Rubio. Senator Ted Cruz and Governor John Kasich address CPAC tomorrow. Brett? Rich Edson at CPAC. Rich, thanks.